Well, happy Friday everybody out there in Facebook land and today is another edition of Behind the Scenes here at the Shippensburg Historical Society. I'm your host, John Miller, I'm the Executive Director here. And today I'm just going to kind of show you a couple of interesting artifacts um, that we have in our collection. Starting off with a miniature 17 caliber gun. These are miniatures. They were very popular. If you're looking for more information, there is a YouTube channel um, called CNR Relics. Basically, they, they came in all kinds of shapes, sizes. And this one here included the rifle barrel as well as the shotgun barrel. Another cool piece we have is a World War II capture handgun from a German. And this here is a Sauer 7.65 millimeter, which is almost the same as a 32 ACP. And for anybody who um, wants to get an idea of how this feels, uh, think of a 9x18 Makarov. Is another really cool piece we have. We also have a lot of really beautiful jewelry and buckles. This is probably around the turn of the century going into the 1900s. A really beautiful piece that we have. It's this woman's coin purse, and this probably dates back to maybe the mid to late 1800s. Look at the beautiful detail on that. The hole for you to put your change is right located between these two bands here. And then we have some celluloid pieces here. Now, for those who don't know what celluloid is, um, the material itself dates back to 1856, but it becomes known as celluloid in 1870. And it's kind of like a front cursor of a type of plastic. It was easy to be molded. And it could be used for a lot of different purposes. Um, anybody who plays an electric guitar today, guitar picks are made out of it. But women's fashion, going into the 1900s, 1920s, a lot of these really beautiful pieces were produced using that material. It's a lot of great detail. celluloid is that it could be very flammable. And here's just a piece without the rhinestone on it. But a lot of very beautiful hair pieces were produced during this time period. Some other interesting artifacts that we have would be the World War II ration books. And to be honest with you, I'm surprised that we didn't use ration books during this COVID-19 crisis. But basically you have the name of the person who the book is being issued to, the address, and then on the inside you have your stamps. And on the back of it, it tells you exactly how this book is to be used. And then recently, I had some one of our board members, Bob, who decided to drop off some of these poster boards from the College Cinema here in Shippensburg. And these are going to be loaned out to us for a little while. A 
love this one because it's Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Those guys definitely knew how to push the edge when it came to comedy. But then he also had some of the newer movies. I don't know how many of you have ever seen The Black Hole. So, I figured I'd go ahead and just kind of wet your whistle for today. Hopefully things will start getting back together and we can go ahead and open our doors up to the public. That way you can explore your local history. But until then, everybody, please take care and I'll see you next week for another edition of Behind the Scenes here at the Historical Society.